Useless. Hmm? What's useless? My spell. Useless at present. We should move on. What did you actually do to get thrown down here, Eyes? I'm curious. I will answer your question with a question, Master Thief. Well, go on. Do you value your pathetic life? Um... Yes? Then you will not ask that question again! Uh, okay, okay, you're... very secretive with that reason. I, I can respect that. Um, I won't ask again. Good. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Legend of Grimrock, and when last we left off, the spell that uh, Ice has just learned enchants ammunition. And we don't need to worry about that right now, because we don't really have any uh, proper ranged weapons to speak of. We have thrown weapons rather than ranged weapons. And also the uh, various abilities that uh, Heather and Mal have learnt actually uh, are usable automatically, but they're only used when... Um, also, you can uh, throw things while they're opening. They're only usable uh, occasionally, there's not a way to control it. So I don't need to worry about that, as long as they have energy, they can continue to uh, use those abilities. There we go! One dead skeleton. That might in fact be the last skeleton that's encountered by itself. Also, I knew that secret uh, already, so uh, don't worry about the fact that I already knew that was there. That one uh, most certainly is ingrained in my memory. So we're just going to uh, fill this box up here with food. Filling it up with food is a good idea. You're also getting hungry. It's a very good idea to eat something. And you're not hungry yet, but you will be. So we'll just uh, fill that up too. What else do we have? More food? There's food here, and there's food there. The food situation is okay for now. It won't remain that way. So we're just going to uh, move on here. There is a reason why we've been getting things that are numbered, though, and that is because uh, there is alchemy in this game. Alchemy, uh, for instance, that is the wrong one. Alchemy here. One potion of healing can be made with a flask and a tar bead, and an anti-venom with a flask and a cave nettle. Something to uh, know for the future. In fact, we're going to uh, do some alchemy right now. Because why not? Here we go. One and one makes an anti-venom. And in fact, uh, why make just one anti-venom? Because we're probably going to need more of them, so we're just going to make another one. There we go. We might need many anti-venoms, and the uh, flasks are reusable. We'll just take this to uh, get through to the next area. And I think our light is about to fail. There we go. So let's move on into the depths. Further down into the darkness. Into level 3, Pillars of Light. I distinctly remember the solution to this puzzle though, so let's just solve this one. It says here, a lone pillar of light stands alone in the night. Which uh, means that there is this pillar here in the central room that you need to have three torches on. Then it is a lone pillar of light. And thus the door opens. If you remove one, the door shuts. So you just want to keep that like that. It's a uh, way that three torches are gone and here is a frost bomb, which is quite nice. What's not nice is what's over here. See that there? That is a frost arrow being fired by an archer. For indeed, we're now going to encounter archers, which is not great. Archers aren't fantastic to uh, face, but they do give us ammunition, which is always nice. Let's go face this archer down, shall we? Of course, this archer is not alive. This archer is a skeleton archer. They're also quite good shots, and there are multiple enemies here, it would seem, which is not wonderful, but I'm sure we can deal with this one just fine. Hello? They're also quite good at hitting you, and very fast in comparison to the uh, other enemies that we've fought so far. There you go! William has now gained a level, and this one did not drop any ammunition, which is a shame. I, I don't think they're always uh, guaranteed to drop ammunition, which is unfortunate, but when they do drop ammunition, it's quite good. There we go. Just need to uh, deal with you. And we'll deal with William's level now. William is going to get some more missile weapon skill. 
this is actually going to become quite significant soon. And because I feel like checking, there is a, um... Was there an arrow dropped here? No, no there was not. Also, most of the time there's no downside to throwing yourself down pits, because, uh... Pits tend to have things in them. And we could have a look and see if there's anything in there. I mean, we haven't thrown ourselves in pits in the past, but, uh, if we throw ourselves into this pit... <laughs> ...does hurt. What is in here? These snails. And snails are rather easy to defeat. They're also a small amount of experience. I'm surprised I haven't been throwing myself down more pits, because I think some pits you really do sort of need to solve first time. Ah, you are now overburdened, so we need to be careful with you. Hello, Mr. Snail! How are you? You're about to be killed quite horribly, because you are a really easy threat compared to most other things we've encountered. Alright, anything in here? I think we're going to be falling down here quite a bit. Anything on the walls? Nope. Is there anything down here? This is a uh, level 4, apparently. Ah, a skull. There was a reason to throw ourselves down here, and that was that. A skull. There we go, we now have two of them. Which is brilliant. I hope I haven't missed any other skulls. I don't think I have. But we now have two of them. And over here... Should be a teleporter. Which brings us back to here. Excellent. Let's uh, have a look now and solve this puzzle. Seems like a good idea. Over here is a button. And that will open this here. This itself is not much of a secret though, although we do get a second shuriken. This, however, is a secret. And this will open up this area. One rock, and now we're through. Where are we through to? An area with broadhead arrows, but more importantly, a bow! Let me have that. Let's check to see how good this is, shall we? Excellent! That is fantastic. I will be far more useful to you all now that I have this bow. Indeed, the bow is quite good. And we do have ammunition for it. Um, where is that ammunition? We have some, uh, yes, we have some poison arrows here. Which is quite nice. We'll be uh, certainly using them first. I don't know if they get exhausted once you use them. But we'll have to try, won't we? There we go. What do we have here? Locked door? I hear skeletons. We should be very cautious. I agree. Ah, not so good. Alright, we need to deal with you guys as quickly as we can. Aha! There we go. I don't know if... Uh-oh. What we need to do is we need to focus on killing one of these so we can uh, make our way past. We don't want to get surrounded here. There we go. One defeated. And we need to deal with you next. We did not get any of those arrows back. Which is curious. Okay. One at a time now. We can deal with these. We did not get any of those poisoned arrows back. Which is very curious. I was a little curious... Oh, there we go. Another one dealt with. No, we did not get any of them back. I wonder if they're always exhausted when they're used. We'll try these arrows now. And be very careful because one of our party is about to die. Careful. Maybe we don't get the arrows back um, if they're enchanted. But that would be a bit weird, considering the fact that uh, we only have a finite number of arrows in the whole game, I imagine. There we go, we got those arrows back. We didn't get the poisoned ones back at all, though. Also, the um, you may notice that the um, that there only opens if you step on that. But yeah, those um, poisoned arrows are gone. Hmm. Curious. I wonder where they went. The arrows? I, I could not recover them. It was, uh, very strange. Hmm. Also, that, I imagine, drops down into the area we were previously in. There is a shuriken here. That's good. We don't necessarily need shurikens anymore. Are they better than this? Let's find out. They are better than those, so why don't we just use those instead? 
Seems like a good idea. Oh, that's a... I was about to say, that's an arrow. Nope, that's a very, very big spear. Also, you'll notice it doesn't get thrown as far as a, um... Doesn't get thrown as far as a rock. That kind of makes sense. Here's a key. There's another dead person. In here is a switch. That I imagine opens something. An empty flask. That's nice, at least. Anything else? More cave nettles? Anything else? We haven't explored that area yet. Another switch? No. A large amount of nothing in here. I don't want to have to throw myself down a pit to get out of here. But I could, if we need to. For now, I think resting is very important. Let's rest. Good plan. Ooh. Are you still there? I know a way out, but I can't make it there by myself. We need to work together. Descend towards the bottom of the mountain. We can meet there. Alright, seems like a plan. Let's rest some more. We'll wait until Heather's at full health. There we go. Excellent. How's the food situation? Good, 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 and not so good. You have lots of food, though, so that's okay. Ah, there is this way that um, has opened up. So this is the way out. Fair enough. That's always nice to know. I really don't want to get eating the, um, get on to eating the baked maggots, though. But that is our route to uh, move further in. One key, one way forward. Progress is made. Progress indeed! I don't think I want any of my arrows enchanting if that's what's going to happen to them. Agreed. We only have so many. Let's move forward. Alright! And I think we want to throw ourselves down every pit that we possibly can now. Ooh! A note. I haven't slept well lately. There is an echo in my dreams that is too faint to hear. I wonder what it is trying to tell me. Turum. Well, we've heard that, haven't we? We have. We have? Oh, the dreams. Uh, yes, I've heard those dreams, but, uh... Ah, the light's going out. If you would, eyes. There. Thank you. Yeah, I have heard that, but, um... A little concerned as to what it is. And if you give me just one moment, I'll be right right back. And we are back! Apologies for the interruption there! Let us move on! As you can see, the exit is right there! But unfortunately, we can't really access it because of these pits in the way. But that's nothing that we can't solve! By jumping for it! Or not. We're not going to be able to ever deal with those pits by just jumping over them, so instead we're going to uh, defeat this enemy here and see what items are down this pit. Probably a fair few. Also, we're both running out of uh, space here. We can get rid of a lot of items we don't need. I don't think we need that. Uh, we probably don't need most of these. We also have a sack here that we should probably put a lot of these, like, random items in that we have. And we have another sack here that's just full of food that we'll be sure to eat at some point. Also, you're, uh... Your inventory is probably getting quite full, so we want to drop a few things that we uh, don't really need, or pass on a few items to other people. There is an item, though, that we want! Some Leather Greaves! And you are overburdened, which is not great, but we'll pass various items on and then dump them. You are most certainly carrying a lot of stuff, so we're just going to have to uh, go into here and uh, see what else we can find. Ah! Like a spider! Okay, I was not expecting a spider. Also, these are very, very fast. That I mean, oh, you are poisoned. That is not good. I wonder if that poison eventually goes away. I hope it does. I hope it does, because uh, poison is not good. We could try and rest and see if it gets rid of it. I, I don't think it will. Will it get rid of it? I can't hear you, but I know you can hear me. 
I tried to talk to the other people that have been here before you. They were criminals, but I sense that I can trust you. Or rather, that you I can trust. Also, uh, this poison does not seem to be going away. Alright. It is now gone, and we have consumed one anti-venom, so we know what they do. Cure poison, as expected. Also, here is another pit. And I think our light spell is failing. Not anymore, though. There we go. Let's go down this pit, shall we? There might be loot down there! Have you ever considered that one of these pits at some point might be bottomless? Ah! There has never been a pit that William cannot navigate! <laughs> See? We're absolutely fine. I question your interpretation of fine. We'll just uh, weigh this down with a pressure plate, uh, or rather with an item. We'll weigh it down with a pressure plate! Pressure plates upon pressure plates! Ah, there appears to be some kind of puzzle that I vaguely remember. We're going to use torches to weigh these down, because uh, torches are a good thing to do that with. And there's a button, and that button turns off that teleporter there. And now I've heard the satisfying sound of something opening. Like this. Ooh, Serpent Bracer. Poison resistance plus 50. A bracer fashioned after a venomous tropical snake. The teeth of the snake bite into the forearm of its wearer. Well, that's not good, but it does provide a lot of protection stat and poison resistance. Also, we can now take the torches without uh, losing any of them, which is nice. Alright, we'll just uh, have these back. We don't want that back, though. Is there anything else here that we want? Any buttons or anything? There might be. I get the feeling I might have seen one. I'm not sure, though. Let's uh, check everywhere, because I think this area is actually linked to another puzzle. And there is a small area that we have not yet explored. No, I think, uh, I think we might have uh, solved all of that. Alright, we might have solved all of that. Okay. There is a teleporter here that we uh, most certainly want to do. There's that one there. Ooh, there's a button there that we want to press. Oh, and down goes that enemy. We actually want to go and fight that enemy, so uh, down we go again! Hello, how are you? We're just going to fight you very carefully. And I mean very carefully. Because we most certainly want to get that experience without getting anyone else poisoned. There we go. Careful. Careful. Is now a bad time to say that I don't like massive spiders? I think nobody likes massive spiders. Also, here are the arrows that we cannot for some reason pick up when we're on this uh, pressure plate. But there is indeed a button. Let's push that very quickly. There we go. Aha! A secret place. What is this? A tome of health. A thick tome that thoroughly describes the diet and exercises of the hermits of um, Basabua. Gain health plus 25. Ooh, that's a lot of health. We could most certainly have uh, somebody read this. Who is most likely to gain from this? You're most likely to gain from it by gaining tons of health, but... Uh, it's not going anywhere. I'll have to consider who is to use that. Also, there is a shuriken here. And shurikens are always nice. And this teleporter will indeed lead us back to here. And we're not going to be able to uh, deal with... Um, we have to go the long way round, pretty much. We have to go the long way round. Here is a teleporting puzzle, by the looks of it. <laughs> yep, there's also a pit that we want to throw ourselves down. Let's do that first. It brings us to an area we've already been to, but that's alright. Let's try our best not to um, go into this area again, and that brings us back to here. Alright, one teleporting puzzle. There's also a rock here. Rocks are always nice. Okay, that is not so good. Yeah, that opens that up, but then again, that also... Um, 
I think I know what we need to do here. We need to use this rock to uh, weigh that down. Like that. Ah, that's not so good, is it? Because we uh, have kind of lost that rock. Where did that rock go? Oh, it's right here. We could throw something in there. Hmm. How are we going to... Ooh, we could go that way. But how are we going to get over there without... Um... No, we're not going to be able to get over there very easily, are we? We aren't going to be able to get over there very easily at all. We could try. Yeah, that just teleports us back. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get over there without uh, figuring out how to uh, buy... We really need that pit to be um, shut. That's what we need. If that pit were shut, we'd be able to get past a lot simpler. But for now, I will figure out this puzzle. And when we come back, folks, more puzzle solving. More lightning. More spider. Okay, can we have no more spiders? It's giving me a lot of Eye of the Beholder flashbacks. And I remember how difficult they were to defeat in that. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Hmm. It is a tricky puzzle indeed. I think I know the solution, though. Go on. We ignore the puzzle and move on. That is a terrible solution. Do you have a better one? Not yet. Hm, I thought so. Yours is still terrible. Later.